Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Good Morning Soul. Today, I want to preface this video by saying I am refilming this one, and it's the last one that I have to refilm. Not only that, but this was a very, very special video. This was my most popular video for a while. It was my review of Quest Searching Solvin, or his mixtape. And, uh, yeah, I used, like, the fuel and energy from the views. And Quest, he left a comment and subscribed after watching the video. And that had me on cloud nine. Anyway, let's start the video in five, four, three, two, one, play. And it's a very simple review. Like, I didn't do anything special. Like, I feel like all the videos that get hella views aren't at all, like the ones that I put the most work into but uh that's just how it works you know I remember around this time before this video my laptop the one that I was editing all these on these are all edited on, on a laptop 2012, I was forced to start all over. um before this video my laptop like the screen broke and I had to get it repaired and that left me like very I lost my car uh, and I also lost monetization before getting it back. I was I, w I went from 100 to zero really quick, but after this video, I was back on 100 and have never gone back since. But um, if you don't know anything about Quest Searching Solvin, if you haven't seen the review we're commentating over, it's a very it's a very great mixtape. Uh, all his work is great. He's one of my favorites in the game right now. He, this particular album, uh, was like the first thing I ever listened to by him. And there's, there's uh songs that have like an R and B vibe, some really good just straight rap stuff. Um, a lot of really interesting ideas. He really adds a lot of narrative and themes to his uh, music, which, if you know anything about me, that's, like, my, that's, that's the stuff that I really appreciate in music. I want to know where that hat went. I don't have that hat anymore. That's one thing about watching old videos. I'm just like, where the fuck did all these clothes go? I know I didn't get rid of that hat, but it's gone. Money and clothes. Money, money, money. He got quest in the corner going. Just a common man trying to make a living off of himself. With all that, it tends to be a little refreshing. Also, I love this. Again, I like these jokes. It's just my execution could be better. And I think it's more the fact that I'm in a dark room. I'm a little bit awkward on a shitty camera. And I have a baby face. And my hair is fucking disgusting. I love this joke. This and what How many times he references his mother? Some of you excellent flow and great production value paired with that on top of that great instrumentals and hooks and I love the really this uh background music was created by I believe uh my friend Solomon on tracks such as hunger who's been on videos before get angry as he's just desperate it's a good one and slowly the darkness and the anger keeps building up if I am wrong about that I apologize and the highest point of his desperation. The track I still, is like, and downward I'd never at that point in time, like, had had somebody who, oh shit, my old shitty Obama phone. Oh my god, that takes me back. This is proof. In high school, I did not have a smartphone. I did not have a smartphone until I was, like, 19. I was using that shitty little Obama phone. Yes, yes. 
and it was awful. I hated it. I don't know how I operated with that. I mean, it must have been nice not to have to pay like a huge ass phone bill every month. But most people, a lot of people when they're 19, or when I was in high school, like had parents who paid for their smartphones. But I didn't have that. I never had anyone pay for my phone. Kids these days, don't even, they're gonna grow up thinking their, their parents are just gonna pay their phone bills. Well, not me. I'm independent AF. And that's why, in the end, I award Search and Sullivan a 4 out of 5. And, of course, hey. the soul badge of approval. With that being said, the 5 on that five font that I use day, is called the teacher underscore A. And with that, the 5, I, I wouldn't want to use a 5 just because the 5 was so ugly on that font. Hey! And if you look at the time, there's two minutes left, that is because there's a after credits scene. But I reviewed every song on that mixtape as well. I used to do that too. Those videos got views. So like, I, I didn't necessarily need to stop doing it, but like at the same time, like, it's about creative fulfillment. And it, it did, I did like enjoy that and I did get fulfillment out of it. It was just like doing it for every single review, doing every so single spoiler talk. Leaving old problems behind. With their it just adds to the like backup in your brain that, that like, oh, I should, I should make this video, I should make this video, I should make this video. And you can only have so many videos in your backup like, hey, make this, before it just kind of like, I don't know, caves in on itself. Oh, I love this outro, by the way. Never forget where you came from. Always. Little things like this are like, will make the videos like art. Searching Sullivan. And then I think there's like a minute of blackness, which I'm just gonna skip because there's like a little thing in my software. If you have a little like tiny half a second clip or like an audio bit that's like out of sync, you moved it over in the timeline, then you fucked up. But anyway, I still can't believe that Quest saw that video. He saw my 17 year old self make a fool of himself uh, talking about his music. But um, yep. That was the review, and it got hundreds of views, thousands, and here we are today. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time, and with that, I leave you.